It's the fourth most densely populated city in the world. The capital of a fast-growing economy, Delhi's population grows at the rate of 4% every year. To keep pace with the future, Delhi needs to stay on the move. This puts massive pressure on its road networks. A growing demand for innovative methods to better the public transport network had been a constant challenge for the city's administrators. Roads were already packed to maximum capacity, so a new mode of transport would be needed. Today, rising to the challenge, zipping through the nerves of the city and carrying more than 1.5 million passengers every day is the Delhi Metro. Delivering on its promise, the Delhi Metro today has become the backbone of the public transport network in Delhi. But how can the learnings from this large-scale infrastructure project be applied to other projects like it? Delhi Metro's visionary leader believes that their work culture can be replicated widely to provide any number of benefits to the people. The most important thing is the funds kept up at disposal. It's a trust by the taxpayer. That, fe fe that feeling, that um, attitude should be there, that we should not squander away money. It has got to be used in the most optimal fashion to the best advantage of the people. So the government funds should be utilized with utmost discretion and prudence. Despite being a public sector company, DMRC had full functional autonomy allowing it to operate like a competitive private sector organization. Forward planning and speed are core components of DMRC's work culture. In a country where large-scale developmental projects in the public sector tend to stumble over procedural delays, political pressures and irregular flow of funds, DMRC executed the project within the deadline and within the allocated budget, surprising everyone with its immaculate management and work processes. The working process here is very different. It's not so paper oriented officially. Mind you, the types we have, we keep records of all the systems. Everything is recorded here. So from that point of view, like the government, all the records are maintained here. Only the speed is very fast here. What we have is every week we have a weekly heads of department meeting. Now a lot of these decisions are taken over that weekly meeting verbally. And once our decision is taken in a, in a weekly meeting, that is taken as a decision. Final. The Metro Rail Service caters to commuters of every demographic. It has one of the lowest fare structures in the world. And yet, since day one, it has been profitable. Through innovative use of design and engineering, DMRC created revenue sources by venturing into property development. Initially visualized to recover 7% of the project cost, today property development contributes about 25-30% to 30 to DMRC's revenues. In this country, there is no organization which has got the experience and expertise to plan and execute a metro system, except DMRC. We have learned it the hard way. And when we learned it, we had to get, engage foreign consultants to help us. Now, having acquired this expertise. We thought that this should be available to other cities. So in that process, we started preparing the plans, schemes for the metros in other cities like Chennai, Bangalore, Bombay, Calcutta. We prepared the schemes. We sold us, we marketed the scheme to the state government's concern, got them on, on board. They were not interested to start it, but I personally used to go, lay the scheme before the chief minister, straight away of the chief secretary, explain to them the advantages take them on board and then get them interested in the scheme and got the scheme sanctioned. And when it seems schemes are sanctioned naturally, they are not able to execute it themselves. So we help them as prime consultant. Though not aimed at commercial gain, the consultancy wing contributes to DMRC's revenues. 
Many cities have approached DMRC for assistance in setting up an efficient metro rail system. One such city is Bengaluru. Originally designed for just 6 lakh people, Bengaluru today is the second fastest growing urban area in the country, next only to Delhi. With more than 3.5 million vehicles on its roads, traffic gridlocks are common in Bengaluru. Veteran bureaucrat Mr. N. Sivasalam is the man in charge of decongesting the city. He and his team represent Bengaluru's metro dream, Namma Metro. The word Namma in Kannada means our own, indicating even in its name a high degree of ownership by the people. We always associate railways with long distance travel. Very few of us uh, associate uh, railways with uh, uh, short distance travel. We had the tramways uh, earlier on in, uh, in places like Kolkata, Mumbai, but those were all uh, given up in favor of bus transports uh, during the uh, early part of this country's development. So virtually uh, you did not have rail based systems in the municipal areas. Suddenly when you go for high tech uh, rail systems, what has happened is uh, the railways have become a municipal subject. Coming to think of it, uh, uh, metro passes through highly dense areas. Uh, you need to have people who know uh, its uh, limitations and all this calls for a certain degree of training at the level of the population as well. We are trying to do this, uh, Delhi Metro has already done it, mm, people are already aware. We will carry it further in Bangalore. Although modelled on the lines of the Delhi Metro, the Namma Metro has its own unique challenges and opportunities. One difference is the background of the project leader. Unlike Mr. E. Sridharan, who is a technocrat with decades of experience in the railways, Mr. Sivasalam is a central government bureaucrat with experience in health and family welfare, housing, urban and rural development. In fact, he is the man credited with building a million homes for the poor in Karnataka. Like the Delhi Metro project, Namma Metro is a joint venture between the central government and the state government of Karnataka. Namma Metro was cleared by the Union Cabinet in 2006. This further supports the fact that equal ownership by the centre and the state is crucial for large-scale projects to thrive in India. Our own DPR was prepared by Delhi Metro and um, uh, what they did was they made a central core and um, ensured that the metro's arms, that is the east, west, north and southern lines meet at the central core and the eastern and the western and the northern and the southern lines pass through very dense populated areas. Namma Metro learned from DMRC at every step. In addition, the planning and the development of the Namma Metro network have considerable innovations, technological, social and environmental. While the Delhi Metro functions both on broad and standard gauges, Namma Metro will run only on the standard gauge, giving it more flexibility in acquiring international technology for rolling stock and construction. The biggest challenge in building elevated structures was the narrow roads and sharkers. In fact, actually, we had to manage the traffic uh, moving uh, within the narrow roads and then with the barricade and then construct it as quickly as possible so that the barricades can be brought back, number one. Number two, there are very sharp curves here. So we have launched a 122 meter uh, segmental construction curve, first time in India, which is a very challenging work. And also there were lots of utilities which had to be diverted during the process of construction. We are all looking forward to the tunneling uh, work because uh, this is the first time that uh, uh, tunneling will be done in, in granitic rock um, uh, in uh, worldwide and uh, this has not been attempted uh, in other places uh, and so people are looking forward to the learning experience of Bangalore. While the Delhi Metro had imported their first rolling stock, they had also laid great stress on indigenization through a transfer of technology clause. As a result, India now manufactures its own rolling stock and coaches for metros. This one act of vision by Delhi Metro has enabled India to own metro technology. Like any other city, Bengaluru faces challenges that need solutions urgently but only those solutions that ensure least harm to the environment. Here we have a major issue of because it's a garden city, each street cut had a lot of implications and environmental issues and of course the, the concerns of the environmentalists etc. So we have taken the policy to, to plant 10 trees for every tree cut. 
Namma Metro, like Delhi Metro, earns operational revenues for itself. But more importantly, both the projects earn benefits for every common citizen as well. Very early into the project, the team realized that building the Namma Metro without public support would be impossible. Hence, rehabilitation of displaced families and compensation to them were handled with concern and sensitivity. There is a comprehensive policy with respect to the rehabilitation, especially like, you know, the, uh, the person who is staying in the building where it is demolished, he may not be the owner himself, he may be a tenant himself. So even for the tenants, this is the first of its kind in the country, where the tenant himself will get a rehabilitation of a six months rent and a solosium for him to you know, go to a new place and also some transport allowance for him to shift from the building. The owner will get the compensation with respect to his building as well as the land. So that's how the tenants have moved away from the uh, property which has been acquired and we were able to demolish those properties. Social responsibility is a key tenet of the organization, just as it is for DMRC, and they have gone to great lengths to implement it. In the northern stretches of Bengaluru is the Pinya Depot of the Namma Metro. While the depot is still under construction, the fringes have a different view to offer. Northern line of the Metro, it is near Swastik Station. There, nearly some hundred slum dwellers' houses were there which is exactly falls in the, our uh, viaduct alignment. And uh, we thought of rehabilitating them. Each house is of uh, 70 square meter, which is around 725 square feet. It is a duplex house with all facilities. This layout has been approved by the Bangalore Development Authority. So that uh, this becomes the authorized layout. So we allotted in the, these, all these houses to the lady of the house. And we have put a condition that we, within 10 years, they cannot sell this property to anybody. The initially skeptical slum dwellers are today a proud and confident part of the Namma Metro future. For youngsters like Sureka, it offers a chance at a better life. Here uh, we have changed a lot and lot and lot, ma'am. The people's behavior has changed. They are maintaining a discipline and we have all the facilities here and main thing is water facility. Each houses have separate water facilities. You can see that uh, here uh, the women's eyes will be filled with happiness here. And uh, we didn't think that we'll get uh, this house and a uh, big house. It's just uh, God's gift. With the Namma Metro all set to begin operations in 2011, the people of Bengaluru eagerly await a solution to their transportation troubles. Namma Metro promises to be affordable, reliable and comfortable. The Delhi Metro and now the Namma Metro have displayed how developing social capital contributes greatly to the sustainability of an organization and in turn to its success. The people of Bengaluru will soon be proud beneficiaries of a world-class metro dream, just as Delhi has been. DAMRC has become the mother metro of the country. And uh, again, this is a decision taken by Mr. Sridharan that he does not want to exploit this on a commercial basis, at least as far as India is concerned. He, had a, he has a national objective. He wanted to spread the metro culture. A country growing fast and furiously in the 21st century, India is at the crossroads. Will our economic development benefit our poorest? Can prosperity and well-being for our people be driven by public sector projects? The much-anticipated Delhi Metro and soon-to-come Namma Metro are testament to the possibility, inspiration for us all.